welcome to the dynamic extractions separation video. What you're seeing here is a standard HP CCC system setup. Let's look at each piece of the setup in turn. First you'll need a computer with chromatography software installed on it. Then you'll need a suitable pump to deliver the solvent. In this case here we have a quaternary pump to deliver four solvents independently. Next comes the Dynamic Extraction Spectrum HP CCC instrument. Also shown is the Dynamic Extractions valve box, which allows you to easily change between analytical column and preparative column normal phase and reverse phase and also allows you to easily inject and load samples. Lastly you will need a suitable detection system. In this case a UV detector has been used. Also you will need a fraction collector for collecting fractions as they come off the HP CCC column. In this separation we're going to mix the solvents manually, however using the pumping system we're using here you can mix solvent systems on demand. We're going to show how to do this at the end of this separation video. So we're going to mix up manually solvent system 15 of the Hemwatt series and we're going to mix 1 litre total volume. Measure each of your solvents in turn. Firstly, 200 milliliters of heptane. Three hundred milliliters of ethyl acetate. Two hundred milliliters of methanol. 300 milliliters of water. Once the four solvents are added to the mixture, a thorough mixing is needed in order to make sure that they are completely mixed. Then allow the layers to settle completely. After settling you'll be left with two distinct phases. Collect each phase individually and label up. you should be left with two almost identical volumes of solvent. One the upper phase and one the lower phase. Either can be used as stationary or mobile phase depending on which type of separation you're running. In this case the upper phase will be the stationary phase and the lower phase will be the mobile phase. Connect the mobile and stationary phase to the pumping system and purge each pump head as shown here. In this case the upper phase is going to be the stationary phase and the lower phase is going to be the mobile phase. Set the valve box to the parameters for your run, in this case analytical column, reverse phase and load. 
Now we need to fill the column with stationary phase. Take the waste stream from the detector and place it in a measuring cylinder. Begin the program on your chromatography software and start to pump stationary phase. As the stationary phase begins to fill the column, any previous solvent in the column will be purged. Whilst the column is filling, start to measure out your sample. Once 40 milliliters or so of solvent has been expelled from the column, the column is now full of stationary phase. Dissolve your sample in a mixture of mobile and stationary phase approximately one milliliter of each. Make sure the sample is fully dissolved. You should see two solvent layers in the sample. Switch on the water chiller. Now begin to spin the HP CCC column. The spinning will allow the column to retain stationary phase whilst you're pumping the mobile phase. Maximum speed is 1600 RPM at 240 G. Set the detector to the required wavelength, in this case 254 nanometers. Set your program going and begin to pump mobile phase. After a given amount of time, mobile phase will start to come off the column. This shows the column is now in equilibrium. In this case, the mobile phase is the lower phase, so you can clearly see that it is now coming off the column. Your sample is now ready to inject into the HP CCC column. Inject the dissolved sample into the sample loop of the valve box. Once the sample is in the sample loop, turn the valve box to inject and the sample will be pumped into the column. Now begin the data collection software. Collect the fractions either on a timed basis or a peak driven basis. After around 40 minutes all the fractions should have been collected. Use the chromatogram to identify the fractions of interest and then get, take them on to further analysis. Now turn off the CCC instrument and the chiller as your separation is now finished. Alternatively, purge the column and begin again. We mentioned earlier that using a quaternary pump allows you to mix solvent systems on demand. During this video we did use a quaternary pump, however we used it with manually mixed solvent systems. When using a quaternary pump like this, you can control the pump with the chromatography software to mix your four component solvent system on demand. This makes mixing solvent systems a lot quicker and more straightforward. Once you've purged each of the pump heads with the solvent it's going to pump, 
you can program the chromatography software to deliver each of the solvents in the correct ratios to make, mix up the solvent system you want to use. This is the essence of on-demand mixing and it greatly improves throughput and reliability of solvent system mixtures on small volumes.